vancomycin-resistant Enterococcus, or vancomycin-resistant Enterococci, are bacterial strains of the genus Enterococcus that are resistant to the antibiotic vancomycin. History and biology To become vancomycin-resistant, vancomycin-sensitive Enterococci typically obtain new DNA in the form of plasmids or transposons which encode genes that confer vancomycin resistance. This acquired vancomycin resistance is distinguished from the natural vancomycin resistance of certain enterococcal species including E. gallinum and E. casella flavus. High-level vancomycin-resistant E. fecalis and E. foisium are clinical isolates first documented in the 1980s. In the United States, vancomycin-resistant E. foisium was associated with 4% of healthcare-associated infections reported to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention National Healthcare Safety Network from January 2006 to October 2007. VRE can be carried by healthy people who have come into contact with the bacteria, usually in a hospital, although it is thought that a significant percentage of intensively farmed chicken also carry VRE. Mechanism of acquired resistance Six different types of vancomycin resistance are shown by Enterococcus Ban A, Ban B, Ban C, Ban D, Ban E, and Ban G. The significance is that Ban A VRE is resistant to both vancomycin and tiacoplanin, Ban B VRE is resistant to vancomycin but susceptible to tiacoplanin, and Ban C is only partly resistant to vancomycin and susceptible to tiacoplanin. The mechanism of resistance to vancomycin found in Enterococcus involves the alteration peptidoglycan synthesis pathway. The diolanal D-lactate variation results in the loss of one hydrogen bonding interaction being possible between vancomycin and the peptide. The diolanal D-serine variation causes a six-fold loss of affinity between vancomycin and the peptide, likely due to steric hindrance. Treatment of infection Cephalosporin use is a risk factor for colonization and infection by VRE, and restriction of cephalosporin usage has been associated with decreased VRE infection and transmission in hospitals. Lactobacillus rhamnosus GG, a strain of L. rhamnosus, was used successfully for the first time to treat gastrointestinal carriage of VRE. In the U.S., linozolid is commonly used to treat VRE. See also, antibiotic resistance drug resistance, MDRTB, methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, XDRTB. References Further reading, Rastall, Bob. Gibson, Glenn. Prebiotics, Development and Application. John Wiley & Sons. ISBN 9780470023143.